Hi, I just wanted to give you a quick look at what being commonly censored actually looks like. Um, this is, uh, well, I've, I've zoomed in. I've got sort of a close-up of my Twitter account. So you can see this um, clearly. This is my, my tweet activity over the last 24 hours in two-hour increments. You can see here um, between uh, 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. Uh, yesterday evening, uh, 85 impressions, not much. Uh, a little bit more after that, 116 between 9 and 11. Uh, 383, uh, 594, uh, 2037. All of a sudden, it's down to 60, uh, 64, 112, 82, 24, 49, 30. Now, the thing is, if you tweet something that that uh, is picking up a lot of um, uh, a lot of retweets and views and things like that, uh, that activity tends to decrease a little by little, not drop off all of a sudden like that. And about that same time, I did get um, some messages from people telling me that I had been shadow banned once again. Now, you might wonder what shadow banned is, so I'm going to show you. Um, because, uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. Uh, by the way, um, I'm... Planning on naming this uh, this video in, in honor of a, a podcast that uh, Lee Camp and Eleanor Goldfield are doing called Common Censored. Uh, it's a decent podcast. I think you should check it out. I'm hoping that um, maybe this little plug will catch their attention. They might consider putting me on it. It's a, it's a kind of off the cuff podcast, and uh, for anybody who's ever uh, you know taken the time to watch any of my videos, you know they're they're basically all off the cuff. Um, uh, I'm an actor by profession, not a not a producer or director. So, uh, you know, although I could, you know, write scripts for my stuff and things like that, I've basically never done it. I'm just, um, well, not never, extremely rare. Um, I just, you know, get on here and talk. And uh, so, hopefully, they'll they'll consider that uh, if they if they manage to hear about my. Um, little uh, attempt to get their attention. Any rate, so here's the thing. Um, on my uh, on my Twitter page, if if I look on my Twitter page, I see everything that I that I've done, uh, everything I've put on there. Um, just like nothing's changed. Um, and this is this is why uh, they call it shadow band because it's kind of like you're in the shadow. Uh, if I if I run a search over here uh, for from Donald Kronos, that's that's my account, and I let that search play out. Um, here's it, it found people, one person. That's that's me, and then right underneath that, there's my um, tweet to. Uh, my tweet about um, uh, needing uh, balanced ballots and fair elections and uh, the right to vote against someone and uh, on down the line. Now, I want to show you what happens um, if I am not logged in as me um, because other people logged in uh, have been telling me this and I can I can see this myself by just being not logged in at all. So... Uh, that's what I'm going to demonstrate here. Um, let's see. There. Okay, there is there is uh, Twitter not logged in. And you can see, <clears throat> um, can't really see much when you open it as just Twitter.com. Um, there's, there's really uh, no way to run a search or anything. And uh, the main thing is they want you to either log in or sign up. But you don't actually have a Twitter, you have to have a Twitter membership to see stuff on Twitter. Um, although they don't make it real easy in this sense. But if I uh, open up the web address twitter.com slash Donald Kronos, that is taking me straight to my Twitter page. Now, you see at the top, they have a thing that says login. I'm going to skip out of that login thing that popped up. 
Um, and it's also mentioning something about their new terms of service. And okay, so I'm not going to log in right now. I'm going to leave it not logged in and show you what this looks like. Now, again, if I'm on my page, and this is the way to do it, if you want to see what somebody's talking about who's been uh, shadow banned, is go straight to their Twitter page. Because as you can see, everything is still there. Now, because this is zoomed in, you're not um, seeing it the way you'd normally see it. Um, but I wanted to make sure that, that you know, it's uh, easy to make out what you're looking at um, on, on the video. So that's what that's all about. And... Uh, and there's 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 Lee Camp with his comment about I retweeted that as you can see there's my my little retweet thing it says I retweeted it uh, as the midterm elections get closer lesser of two evils debate heats up again and let's see where is uh, where did I retweet um, I know I retweeted there common censored podcast thing yeah i'm not sure exactly exactly where that is it's sort of buried in the rest of the stuff there's a lot of stuff in here and now i'll show you what it looks like if you run a search for from donald chronos same as i did when i was logged in but now it says no results from Donald Kronos, as if I don't even exist. Now, if you're logged in, but not as me, um, I believe what you'll find is um, it will still show the, the one person. Uh, it'll show my account, and you can still click on my account, and you can look at my stuff in my account if you want. But none of my searchers, none, none of my tweets, none of any of my content will show up when you run a search for from Donald Kronos until Twitter raises the shadow ban. And they've done this before, and I don't know how it happens or why it happens. I, I, I wish Twitter would talk to me about it. They, they're usually pretty good about fixing it in a somewhat reasonable time. Uh, but the thing is, the damage is done by then. You know, it, it's like... Um, if I put out something that, that uh, you know, starts to get really popular and, and then I'm shadow banned for the next, say, two or three days, um, all, of the, all, all of the activity that would have generated, all of the, uh, um, all the, uh, the progress I would have made toward being able to get a message out there to the people is basically wiped out. And I have something to say, and uh, it's being censored. Now, I don't know that that's Twitter's intention. Um, you know, I, 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 I like to think it's not. And I think what's probably going on is that somebody out there, somebody out there who doesn't like something I have to say, um, and, and I've seen this both with political stuff and with religious stuff. I'm, I'm an atheist. A lot of people don't like that. And... Uh, uh, would like to keep me silent about, for example, the fact that their God keeps himself silent. But the point is, so I, I think what so, what is going on is that once in a while somebody will false flag me, uh, false report me, basically claim that I'm doing something I'm not doing, and somehow manage to convince Twitter that it's true. Um, and... Uh, you know, then, then I end up shadow banned and they look into it later and they find out that's, that, you know, it wasn't true after all and, and then uh, lift the shadow ban. But I don't know because here's the thing. There's a difference between being censored and being muted or blocked or uh, banned. You know, if they ban you from Twitter, uh, that, that's it. You, you know, you, you can't use your account anymore. So you know that you've been banned. And uh, I haven't had that happen to me, fortunately. Um, <clears throat> actually, yes, yes, I did once. Um, uh, momentarily, a couple of days. The uh, reason is because I, I actually upset um, a particular uh, rather famous 
reasonably famous person who was also at the time running for a political office uh, by uh, by posting a screenshot of, of something that, that um, well, this person made a fool of themselves uh, and had um, replied to something sort of off the cuff in a way that really uh, sort of highlighted the fact that they that they weren't really thinking about what they were saying and uh so since they they couldn't get my tweet removed um which eventually it did end up removed and i'm not sure exactly how that happened but they couldn't get it removed right away they couldn't hide what people were seeing uh they did delete their own tweet um and then they got me banned um for like i said i don't know it was a couple days few days um something like that and uh during that time, I, my account was just like it was gone. Um, <clears throat> so that's what being banned is like. Uh, being blocked or muted, uh, blocking is someone people can individually do to you. They block your account, and uh, uh, you know, then then you know they don't see your tweets, and you don't see their tweets. Um, and muted. Um, means they can still see your tweets, they can still look for them, but you know, you're not going to show up in, in their notifications and stuff like that. Um, they, they basically s silenced you for themselves for a while. And I've done that once in a while, just uh, momentarily, when I've got somebody who's, who's uh, tweeting so much at me that I can't find anything anybody else is saying. It's basically flooded. And, uh, you know, usually somebody that I've, I've already told them, you know, like, drop the subject, uh, you know, it's going on too long or, or whatever. And, uh, you know, like something I, I like, I really don't want to discuss it anymore. and They just won't quit. So I'll mute them for a while. And I, I might go back and look at some of what they said later on. But uh, the idea is to get it out of the way so that I can find other stuff. And <clears throat> so that's what... Um, muting is and muting is something by the way um that occasionally happens accidentally in twitter i think if you're uh in twitter and you hit m i'm not sure but i think that's what it is that that, that it'll just you know if you're not actually writing a tweet or something and you then you accidentally bump the m key um it'll mute uh whoever you've got you know up on the foreground or something it might not be m it might be some other key there's there's a simple keyboard shortcut that does it and I don't think there's a simple keyboard shortcut for unmuting. So then you got to go in and find that the person is muted. So you right click on them and um, there's a there's an option to unmute them. So at any rate, yeah, um, <clears throat> go back to here. And uh, so I do have some, some things to say and uh, I'm trying to make the world a better place. And you know, like I said, I, I hope just maybe... Um, that uh, Lee Camp and and, and or uh, Eleanor Goldfield will um, find out about this and uh, give me a chance to maybe get on their podcast and uh, well not get censored because um, you know well for those who know who Lee Camp is they, they think they know why um, he he has a, a show called Redacted Tonight. Um, <laughs> it's somebody who, who basically talks about, uh, uh, talks openly um, on a popular show uh, about uh, censorship. And, uh, you know, they, they, they kind of wouldn't dare censor him because people would notice really quickly. I'm not saying that it, that it would be impossible to happen, but it's much less likely than someone like me. I'm I'm a hardly known actor. By the way, um, uh, you might notice on on here I have Donald Kronos actor. That's uh, I put the actor on there so that um, any producers or directors that come across my account, uh, you know, know that that uh, I'm available for hire as an actor. That is my career. Um, my stage name, however, has has changed, so um, it's it's Doc D A K. Uh, but um, any rate, thank you for your time, and uh, I hope maybe I've uh, enlightened a few people as to what what it might look like if they're um, 
if they're actually being censored. Uh, my, my point is you might not even know. 